Hello, welcome to 7 Minutes at 7 a.m. with Carolyn, your daily dip into Catholic Lent devotional. I am on site today in Tennessee visiting my dear, dear friend, Laura, from first grade dear friend. And uh, tomorrow I'm speaking at her church, at her uh, women's group. There's going to be around 60 ladies as part of their, their Lenten series. I'm super excited about that. I get to share Julian with them, which is amazing. It's such a beautiful gift. Okay, Laura has all this acreage, beautiful property. Uh, we are having a blast, but I wanted to take some time and come here with you all today. All right, so first I'm going to uh, read this, some of the scripture today because, as always, I love the scripture, and I think this is such a beautiful opportunity to allow you to rest and just receive the word of God. All right, so Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 19. Pay attention to me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. And I think, so pay attention to me, O Lord. So when we're having a hard time and we're feeling attacked or we're struggling in life, we can go reach out to God and say, God, listen to me, pay attention to me, like be the squeaky wheel. God will listen to, me, to you. And we have John, and of course we all love John, right? The book of John. But John 18, uh, chapter eight, verse 12. Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The light of Jesus is all around us. And sometimes when we're facing a dark time in our life, we can forget that. It's super easy to forget that. But Jesus is the light of the world. He told us he's the light of the world. And he is within you. He is within me. He dwells in this beautiful like nature here and all this, you know, this gorgeousness of God's creation. And then we have Matthew chapter 20, 18 through 19. Behold, we are going to Jerusalem. The Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified. And we will be raised on, and he will be raised on the third day. And I said, we will be, because it was a slip. But however, it's because we, if we die in Christ, we rise in Christ. And he did suffer for us. And then we, like, I think sometimes it's really easy to get stuck in, like, Good Friday. Good Friday is beautiful. However, Jesus endured the pains of the cross for the joy that awaits. He wants us to come with him all the way to Easter Sunday and beyond. He wants us to, like, if we're afraid or we're struggling, he wants us to be with him. All right, so Kelly today experience. sorry, <laughs> a little hard to, all right. So Kelly today experiences a bit of darkness. Now she does meet a wonderful saint, St. Christopher. I don't know if you read the uh, Kelly story today, but our saints are with us. They are always available with us. And, and uh, St. Christopher and the infant child Jesus, they bring Kelly into safety. And I think it's really helpful to remember that. And we can call on our saints and I hope you do today. Matter of fact, share some of your favorite saints with me. That would be pretty awesome. All right, so um, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm wobbling this. I'm really not trying, because I want to jump to Julian's words, Julian's wisdom for today. So, and this really struck out. This really stood out to me the first time I read this with Julian years ago. He did not say that you will not be tempted, you will not be troubled. And you will not be distressed. See, Jesus never told us that. That we will not have temptations. We will not have struggles. And we will not have distress. What he did say is, you shall not be overcome. And that's the whole gospel reading today. And the whole, uh, the earlier readings today. It's like, we will not be overcome. Yes, darkness may be all around us. But we will not be overcome because Jesus Christ is the one that came and he dwells in you. He dwells in me and who's, you know, and, and our dad is the king of the universe. And we can remember that. So let's go to, I want to share with you the closing prayer for today. So dear God, please help me to always reach out to Jesus in times of difficulty. And here's the piece I wanted to kind of drive home. Increase my trust in his ability to carry me through my earthly troubles. Amen. So that's the key right there. Sometimes we have, we, our faith is weak or we lack faith or we fall into despair or anger or whatever it is. And we forget or we don't have, we uh, don't call on Jesus and our faith can be weak. So there's a solution to that. Just ask for more faith. Uh, so here we go. Increase my trust in his ability to carry me through all my earthly troubles. Just ask God. 
God, just be here with me. Dear God, please help me to always, re always reach out to Jesus and increase my faith in his ability to carry me through anything and everything in my life. We just had to ask. All right, I think it might be enough for today. I'm really sorry if this is wobbly. Uh, it probably is. I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Lent. Happy Wednesday of the second week of Lent. May God bless you. And I ask him to bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen, my friends and brothers and sisters in Christ.